I have seven minutes and 48 seconds. Thank you. This is Shikama on Blog TV, uh, your host, Kevin Cardinale. Today we're talking about investing the st investment, the stock market, 401ks, uh, Jim Cramer, Susie Orman. Well, I brought Susie Orman up. Um, the first question was, what do I think about Jim Cramer? And I think if you are paying attention to Jim Cramer's live TV shows, uh, at the correct time, uh, that he's been pretty spot on. He's uh, advised you about what was going to happen a year ago. Uh, I saw that show, and he was like, uh, Bernanke and uh, Paulson don't know what they're talking about, and this whole trickle-down economics doesn't really work. He said that. He said that. And all of his uh, haters, all these people who are come against him and hate him, are just talking out the side of their neck. I feel I don't. The guy has been spot on about of a lot of his general advice. Spe specifically, uh, if you want to actually make money with Jim Cramer, I think you have to subscribe to his uh, to his broadcast, his newsletters, uh, uh, and they will get back with you uh, nearly immediately. I e I've emailed them uh, a few times, and they got back with me uh, right away. So, and a lot of people call in on his show and have said that they make money with the guy. So, he's obviously on TV for a reason and he has been on TV for for some time. It's it's not just a, an overnight thing. Now, about uh this whole like I was saying, if you were paying attention around the election time, the actual election uh right when the market started really plummeting, uh, that week, at the beginning of that week, and actually on that Friday, he said, get out now, sell now. And then that Monday, and he, and he said it on Monday too, and he said it on Monday too, that Monday, the market friggin' plummeted. So had you taken it as his advice, you would have come out ahead. Uh, he then told you when to purchase, when to buy, and he... He had a specific list too. This, these are the stocks to buy, and he had a specific list of which stocks to hold on to, uh, which was like uh, the uh, food stocks and stuff like that. Um, the worst travesty, I think, are the bailouts. If you have a company with uh, these toxic ac assets, are you saying, or the uh, that whole? Um, um, uh, insuring these bad bonds or insuring these uh the default credit swaps and all that crap uh those companies need to go under they do not need to be bailed out and bailing out is the exact opposite of what needs to be happening right now all of these bailouts really need to stop these companies need to go under that have uh these are making these bad financial management decisions and targeting short sellers is not the answer either. There is no way that a naked short seller is going to cause your entire company to go bankrupt or, or your stock to plummet just from one naked short seller or even even if they make a run on your company 20 short sellers. Th what is that going to do? You would have to have thousands of short sellers uh, to m even make a dent in your uh, uh, in your company's uh, uh, stock uh, prices uh, and the banks are not lending yeah the whole bailout thing is not working that should be a, that should have been a clue with the first one that they uh, uh, gave money to or lent money to supposedly it's lending money so because they're gonna um, pay it back supposedly right um, and I've I, I think this this whole debacle has also shown the true colors of folks like Susie Orman who is given the exact opposite advice of Kramer. She's been saying, hold on to your money, hold on to your money. Um, I know she's talking to Joe Schmo Public, but she also gives advice to people who actually invest or traders. So you, you, you either have the correct advice or you have the incorrect advice, and I think she's been incorrect on a lot of stuff. Not to say I have a degree in finance. Not to say I'm a tremendous investor. Uh, 
but I was losing a hundred dollars a week on my 401k and I redid my uh, uh, redid my investment and, and I was still losing money so I've since liquidated my 401k and I, I got a chunk of change back um, now short selling uh, short sellers uh, being the demons of the day are not the answer the bailout is not the answer the bailout is not going to give you if you're an investor on any level 401k uh, uh, individual mutual fund a day trader a bailout is the exact opposite of what you want to happen because you're not able to make an informed decision about what is actually going on in, in the company the short sellers are the ones who do the real 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 homework they don't just out of the blue say we're gonna short this stock they do their homework so when you're doing the bailout that is also thwarting all of the short sellers too they can't properly make a decision the investor can't properly make a decision the people who are in it for the long term can't make a proper decision because you are uh, making the market not actually open to free trade you're pumping up these companies that don't need to be pumped up they need to fail the auto industry needs to fail the big three need to fail there's other car companies out there there's other car companies out there in America these Japanese car companies that actually have plants here in America they're doing okay they're not asking for a bailout these the big three need to fail because they have bad management decision they're in the back pockets of big oil they're making cars that aren't actually progressing towards the future that are less efficient um, I was I was uh, I was down on my 401k like I said a hundred dollars every week uh, from the time of the plummet to the end there uh, I was um, anyway I have to I have to stop I'll continue this in another session thank you for tuning in